Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome to a new reading vlog. So today I'm going to be filming. I was supposed to last week and I put it off all week <laughs> and like it wasn't urgent but now it's kind of getting to the point where i need to do it so i'm hoping the next few days that i will be able to get myself motivated to film but i'm just about to make myself some breakfast and while i'm doing that i'm going to listen to my audiobook which is cemetery boys by aiden thomas so this is like a paranormal sort of like urban fantasy and i'm having a lot of fun with listening to it so far i'm not very far into it but it is an own voices story featuring a trans main character and he is striving to get his traditional Latinx family to accept him as the man that he is. And he ends up summoning a ghost and he was trying to summon a different ghost, but instead he summons the school bad boy. And it's very interesting so far, definitely a different concept. So I'm looking forward to getting further into this. I've heard nothing but rave reviews for it. So I'm hoping I will like it too. In addition to this, I am physically reading Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. I'm hoping to be able to finish this today, maybe. I didn't get to read as much as I had hoped to this past weekend, but I might still be able to finish it today. We shall see. But this is pretty much the perfect like fall September contemporary because it has kind of a mystery plot line going to it very mild but the romance is surrounding this mysterious author who lives at the hotel that the main characters work at and they're trying to figure out like he is very reclusive and no one really knows anything about him so they're trying to learn some stuff about him and the main female character also just really loves mystery novels so there's a lot of references to different classic mysteries and stuff and I don't know there's just something about it that has like the cozy fall vibe to me so I'm having a lot of fun reading it I also really love the love interest Daniel he is great and I'm loving their relationship so definitely enjoying this I'm currently on page 251 and I think there's about 430 pages so I don't know we'll see if i'm able to finish this but now i'm going to make myself some breakfast so i have filmed one video it's 12 pm this day is kind of flying by a little bit quicker than i was expecting i am going to take a little bit of a break though to have some lunch so i will i mean it's almost 12 30. oh my god <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna take a little bit of a break have some lunch and go from there i guess i'm probably going to do a little bit of reading during my lunch but i have the crew here so so I have Charlie, he's in his bed. Hello, sir. He's having his afternoon nap here. But then also Sputnik has decided to join us. So she's literally just like right there behind. Wait, wait, she's right. Wait, wait, there. Wait, yes. <laughs> so she's just behind my lights and everything. She never does that, but she's just chilling in here. But I put up some Halloween decorations actually, or some like festive fall decorations in here. I did have these pumpkins I had them at when I was at my parents' house and I did have them around the house, like just not in here, but I kind of like them in here. I don't know. It didn't really match because they're all different colors because I have them on different spaces on my in my bookshelves. So they just didn't really match when they were out in the open. So I'm just going to keep them in here for now, probably. I don't really know. But yeah, I have two more videos to film. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. My hair has turned into one giant curl. <laughs> I hate curling my hair because it just never turns out, but I keep doing it lately. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm gonna go and have lunch now. Oh my God, today was a really long day. <laughs> uh, so it's about 8 p.m. and I'm about to go to bed. I just took off my makeup, so that's why my eyes are watering. It looks like I was crying, but I wasn't. <laughs> I have like a makeup cloth that I usually use, but it's in the wash, so I had to use something different and I don't really like it. It irritates my eyes, but I finished everything on my to-do list I got my three videos filmed I got one video planned and yeah I did a lot better than I was expecting to however I haven't finished this yet I really haven't had that much reading time I read some this morning but other than that have not had any reading time so right now I'm going to head to bed and since I am getting up at five tomorrow to go to the gym I'm going to hopefully read until like 10 and then I'm going to go to bed
I might end up falling asleep a little bit earlier than that because that has been happening, but I'm going to try my best to make a decent dent in this. I probably won't be able to finish it because I do still have a fair chunk left, but I might be able to speed through it because sometimes I just read really quickly because I get very like into it. So hopefully it'll be that kind of situation. That would be really great right now, but I honestly don't know. So we'll see, but I'm going to head to bed and do some reading and I will update you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. So I just got back from the gym and now I am starting a new book because last night I finished Serious Moonlight, yay! So I'm really happy about that. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it, but I did and I really liked this one. I'm still not sure which of the Jen Bennett novels that I've read thus far is my favorite. She has a new one coming out in November and then the other one that I'm interested in that I haven't read yet is the one that, what is it, um, the fantasy, My Lady Rogue or something like that. Maybe it's just The Lady Rogue, I don't know, but that's the other one. Other than that, this year I have read all of her books and this was really honestly a quintessential fall contemporary perfect for this time of year it just has those cozy vibes i did have like a couple issues with it here and there but i loved the characters i really loved daniel the love interest he was one of the best love interests i've read in a little bit but i'm annoyed that so she's always described in the book as having a flower in her hair i don't know why they didn't put that detail on the cover obviously that's super minor but it kind of bugs me a little bit because i was like maybe she's just wearing a flower in her hair like now in this first little bit and that's whatever but no she always has a flower in her hair so i'm like why doesn't she have a flower in her hair here? I don't know. But it really was cute. I liked how it tackled some family issues. I feel like Jen Bennett novels always do that. And once again, she writes really good contemporaries with characters who have interesting hobbies. So Daniel is a magician, which was super fun. And obviously Birdie is really into mystery novels and solving mysteries. And I did find that I liked the first half better than I did the second half. The second half, I didn't feel like the mystery was really as prevalent but there is a trigger warning for this book for a suicide attempt a past attempt is mentioned so just be wary of that but honestly I thought this was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed my time reading it and I'm glad that I read it. So now I'm going to be moving on to When We Were Magic by Sarah Gailey. This is a witchy story. It's about queer witches. I don't really know what to expect from it. It seems like it's going to be kind of funny. So I don't know, but I'm going to start reading it now and see. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, now you see the cat. Okay. Okay. Hi. So it's a little bit later. I have gotten ready to film. I haven't actually started filming yet but I need to. So I did start with When We Were Magic and I got I think about 20 pages into it. It's definitely interesting so far. I'd say it's on the older spectrum of YA which is also true of what is the series Moonlight. I couldn't remember what I just read but both books are a little bit more explicit in terms of like sex scenes and things like that. So yeah I'm not very far into this. There's a lot of characters so I'm trying to get a feel for all of them but definitely a very diverse cast which is really really nice. But I have a meeting at two so it's almost noon now I think. It's about 11 30 so I'm going to get to filming. I have three videos that I want to film today maybe four because I have one that I wanted to film tomorrow but I was like so I've been torn with recent reads and wrap-ups so I have a recent reads video that's ready to go and film but I kind of think I might wait and just do a September wrap-up I'm not a hundred percent sure yet but that's kind of where I'm at with that right now so we'll see but one thing that I mentioned on Instagram that I haven't really talked about here is I might stop doing weekly reading vlogs I'm not sure if this might be the last one or I think I'm gonna like kind of take some time to make that decision I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet but the reason for that is because views have been down which I know isn't everything and I know like there's probably a million reasons why like I understand why people might not want to watch them but I don't know I've liked doing them but I'm kind of at a spot where I'm like is it worth it for me to continue doing them so that's not like open season to 
critique <laughs> everything I feel like anytime I say that I get like a bunch of comments that are like well I don't like this this and this but like I think the main thing with reading vlogs is like when I was talking about it on Instagram is a lot of you guys were like show more of your life and I'm like but this is my life like I show you guys hello Sputnik I show you guys pretty much everything like I don't do a lot I'm working I'm filming I'm reading I haven't even had time to write recently but that's another thing that I do and other than that there's not a lot that I'm doing so there's really nothing to show you guys aside from reading I don't know I'm gonna kind of like look at it and actually my meeting later today is with my agent and I might kind of brainstorm some ways to refresh the vlogs or whatever with her but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I might stop doing them. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll see. But now I do really need to film, even though I am like killer at procrastinating on filming and that's all I want to do right now, but I need to get filming, so. I'm gonna do that now. So I just finished filming my second video. I'm actually only going to have time for two today. I didn't even get to the three that I wanted to get to, but I am still running like really ahead on video. So I'm definitely okay with that. I have a meeting now. So like I mentioned, so I think I'm going to have some leftover pizza for lunch and then I'm going to have my meeting and then make dinner and all that stuff. So I've made decent progress with my to-do list. Definitely reading is on the agenda for later. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. I'm really tired though. <laughs> Hello, so it's quite a bit later. It's nighttime, obviously. Um, I'm going to go to bed shortly. I'm really tired. I haven't really had a fantastic day today. I decided to post a writing update and I was really nervous about that so I've just been kind of anxious since then. So, well, I would like to do some reading. I kind of just want to sleep. <laughs> it's a little bit early to go to bed though so I might watch a movie or something instead. I don't feel like I have the mental, mental capacity to read anything right now so I didn't read 100 pages today I didn't even read 50 I read 20 but it's just kind of one of those days so I will get back at it tomorrow I'm supposed to do some more filming tomorrow but I'm not sure I might take a break from that but I'll see how I feel tomorrow I just got off my call with my agent and I filmed that writing update immediately and I edited it and then uploaded it right away so I'm just kind of drained from that like I knew that I kind of had to do it quickly like ripping off a band-aid or else I wouldn't do it but it's still like I've been very anxious and haven't really been able to read the comments yet or anything so I think it's just kind of a night for me to take it easy and then I will be up early again tomorrow and at it. I'm feeling really tired and really drained right now but I think it's just because it's like the end of the day and it's been kind of like a, a emotionally heavy day like it's just been not a good anxiety day so I'm going to go to bed and I will talk to you guys a little bit more tomorrow. Hello everyone it is Thursday afternoon I keep on thinking it's Friday for some reason today I really don't know why but I haven't updated you guys since Tuesday I think I think it was Tuesday morning or something like that but I just kind of decided to take a day to take it easy and then I just didn't update yesterday so I apologize for that but I did actually finish what I was reading I don't think I told you guys that I had started with this one but I started when we were magic and I just finished it this afternoon and I enjoyed it I really liked I did definitely tell you actually that I was reading it so chaos the cat and the dog are playing but I really liked how diverse it was that was very well done I liked the friend group overall the main character was really annoying for me I mean not even annoying it was just a lot of unnecessary melodrama and the whole point of the story is that there's like this spell that goes terribly wrong and I felt like there were no consequences for what happened like it seemed very inconsequential for what it was and that kind of annoyed me the entire book. I feel like that's kind of a suspension of disbelief sort of thing but usually I'm okay with things like that but in this instance it just really bothered me. I don't know I just I was like this is a giant deal and the character was worrying about something like 
completely different and very trivial so that really annoyed me and I found the magic to be kind of confusing I didn't really understand why they had powers and like if anyone else did I don't know it was just like it was very strange, but I do think it was like a solid, fun, different October read. It deals with friendship a lot and relationships, and I did really enjoy the romance. That was one of the pluses for me, but it was also very frustrating at the same time. So I definitely have really mixed feelings on this book, obviously, but I gave it a three out of five stars overall, so I think it was solid. But I have moved on to my next read, which is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron, and I'm actually like I just started Started this this cover is so beautiful every time I look at it I just see more things like the trees in the background and she is beautiful it's just it's so much but I'm on page 21 definitely getting the Cinderella vibes this is a Cinderella retelling that is a dark and feminist twisted retelling so definitely love that the main character is wanting to marry her best friend or not even marry but she wants to be with her best friend but she's not allowed to do that because they live in this world where Cinderella actually existed and the descendants of Prince Charming, like they all have to go to a ball once they turn a certain age and they have to find a suitor and if they don't, they like disappear. I don't really understand what happens to them yet, but she wants to be with her best friend Aaron and that is not a possibility. So I feel like this is going to be a very interesting retelling and I'm eager to see what ends up happening in it. So I was talking actually last time I updated you guys about where I stand on doing vlogs and I think as of right now I'm going to take like a week or two off from doing them maybe. I'm like really torn about it. I don't know. I love updating you guys on what I'm reading as I'm reading it. I have a lot of fun doing vlogs, but I'm just kind of trying to decide if it's worth it or not. But I do, like, I have plans to try and integrate them into Bookmas. Like, I want to do themed vlogs. I feel like I kind of like doing that more. So I was hoping to do, like, one where I read... I don't know, a book that I've been putting off the entire year or a new release that I haven't gotten the chance to get to. That's what I was hoping to do for Bookmas. So I don't really know where I stand with vlogs right now. I kind of need to think it over and mull it over a little bit more, see how I feel. I know a lot of you guys really like them, but I don't know. It's just, I'm at a weird spot with them. But I'm going to do some more reading. I probably should edit a video, but I just kind of don't feel like it. So I'm going to read a little bit more. Oh my God, my hair is everywhere. Hi, good morning, happy Monday, yay. So this is unexpectedly going to be a two week long vlog because I kind of dropped off the face of the earth at one point last week. I don't even remember the last time I updated you guys. I feel like maybe it was Thursday or something like that. I don't know, but I just kind of stopped doing anything. But I did finish reading my book, so I didn't stop reading. It's just I stopped kind of doing work or doing anything that required me to, I don't know, be a real human. But yeah, I read this fairly quickly and I really liked it. I gave it a four out of five stars. I thought it was an interesting dark feminist retelling of Cinderella. I think it took a lot of different twists to the original tale and I enjoyed the purpose of those twists. The ending was kind of rushed. I found it did hit a slow point at one point and then the ending happened and it was very rushed. So the pacing kind of was a little bit off at points but I really enjoyed the characters and I enjoyed the romance between the two girls in here so it is a female female romance and I thought it was adorable and yeah I just I thought the world building was really well done definitely immersed me in it and it was a lot of fun my battery is gonna die so I'm gonna replace that and then be back sorry about that hello we're back so yeah finished this had a great time reading it definitely made me think about a lot of things I thought it had a lot of interesting social commentary and a lot of things that also are applicable in like real life and not just in a fantastical setting this is another fantasy though so I read another fantasy I don't know why both of them have been retellings but that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles so I don't know what I want to read next. I'm definitely having one of those moments where I'm like, I have so many books right now that I want to read that I don't know which one I actually want to read right now because I want to read all of them. I don't know if that 
actually makes any sense but my last like four or so reads have been kind of like planned out. I pretty much knew what I was going to be moving on to next when I finished with whatever I was currently reading, but I didn't really have any plans for after Cinderella is dead. So I'm not sure if I want to read another book from my September TBR because there are still a couple days left in September, or if I want to move on to my October TBR and start something from that. I'm kind of thinking of moving to my October TBR. Like, I don't really care about reading all the books on my TBR. However, around this time of year, there are a lot of books that I kind of save for around this time of year. So I feel like I should try and get to those and prioritize those. I'm just not sure which one I want to pick up. So I would like to make a decision because I want to take some time for reading while I'm finishing my coffee before I have to get my freaking life organized because I took a few days off, like I said, and I'm paying for it now. Like I feel very all over the place because I haven't really updated my planner. I have like a few things that I need to do that I have kind of put off and I haven't done yet. So I want to sit down and figure out my schedule, but I also need to caffeinate first because I'm just not feeling it right now. So yeah, I am probably going to go and stare at my bookshelves for a little bit and pick up a book and see how that goes. <laughs> I don't really know. I just know that I really want to start reading something. What that book is though, I have no idea. Hello, so sorry for being so far in between updates. It's Monday night, I am about to go to bed, but I wanted to update you guys on what I ended up starting reading. So I started with Odd and True by Kat Winters. I have read In the Shadow of Blackbirds, which is her debut novel. She writes all kind of like creepy, spooky, weird stories that are set in the early 1900s so this one is no exception this one is about two sisters and monster hunting i am 88 pages into it so i've been like lately i've been doing very well with my reading between 50 and 100 pages a day so i'm hoping i'll be able to keep that up it's harder when i have days where i'm like filming and stuff but today was a pretty low-key day where i was just kind of trying to figure out my schedule for the rest of the week and everything and get back on track but yeah i have been able to read a fair amount of this this is taking me a while to get into to be honest even though i've read quite a bit of it i'm still not exactly sure what the story is and not exactly sure about the world there's been a lot of info dumping an interesting thing about it though is that it's dual perspective which i wasn't expecting so the one sister her perspective is in the like present day and then the other sister is in the past when her sister was born so you're learning more about the mother because she's a key figure in it i guess i'm not exactly sure how i feel about it yet I'm still going to give it a chance. I kind of for a little bit was like maybe I'm gonna DNF it but I do want to give it a chance and give it to at least like 150 pages and if I still don't really know what's going on then I will probably DNF it. But I decided to go with this one because I have three books by this author that I'm hoping to read in October so I felt like I should at least start with one of them now and I mean, I'm glad that I did, even though so far I kind of have mixed feelings on it, but it's still like fairly early on, so we shall see. So I haven't actually updated you guys at all with my audiobook, so I'm still listening to Cemetery Boys. It's just taking me a really long time, and it's not that I'm not enjoying it. It's no fault of the books. I'm really liking the book, but I haven't had a lot of listening time. So tonight when I was making dinner, I made chicken, basil, salt and baca. I'm sure I said that incorrectly but I made that from Half Baked Harvest. I make all her recipes but it was delicious but while I was making that I listened to my audiobook some more and I just have had like little times to do it so tomorrow when I go to the gym I'm going to listen to it again because I'm doing stuff where like it's not as intensive so I feel like I can listen to an audiobook because today when I went to the gym I didn't it was not an audiobook today because I was like just it just wasn't a time so I'm trying to squeeze in some audiobook time when I'm at the gym because that'll be helpful and that will help me to make a big dent in audiobooks because 
I just have not had the time lately. But I'm going to read a little bit more before bed. Hopefully I'll be able to pass the 100 page mark. That's kind of my goal. But also, if I'm falling asleep, I'm just going to fall asleep. I have stopped going. I used to go to the gym at 5 in the morning. And, well, no. I went for 6 but I would have to get up at five. Now I went for six and like the gym that I go to, you have to like block out times because then they close to clean because of COVID and everything. So I do wear my mask the whole time. Like it is safe. Uh, there are precautions taken and everything, but I cannot do the 5 a.m. anymore. Like I can't keep getting up that early. I'm just kind of over that. So now I'm going in the afternoon and eventually I'm going to go a little bit later in the afternoon, which is going to be really nice because I really missed sleeping in. So I'm hoping to sleep in again tomorrow. I'm enjoying it while I can because it's kind of like a scheduling thing with my boyfriend's work schedule too. So soon he will be back to on days which means that i will be up early again so i'll be back to 5 a.m probably then but for now i'm going to enjoy sleeping in but for now for real that was kind of a tangent there i'm gonna read hello everyone happy tuesday so my hair is doing things we're just going to ignore that but i just got back from doing groceries so i'm just putting the stuff away now charlie just got up so he has a lot of energy but i'm going to listen to more of my audiobook while i put groceries away and make myself a quick little breakfast but I read some more of this before bed last night so I got to page 134 and then I was just falling asleep and I couldn't do it anymore so I went to bed I still am not sure how I feel about it to be honest I'm gonna see it through I'm going to keep on reading it but I definitely am kind of like what so I'm gonna give it some more time and I think if I'm like more than halfway through it and I still don't really understand what's going on then I'm going to DNF it because I feel like it just hasn't gotten into the story yet and that's why I'm kind of confused. I don't really know. There's just a lot happening but unfortunately I don't really have reading time this morning. I might be able to squeeze some in but I have a couple of appointments today so it's kind of going to be a busy and chaotic day. I might be able to read a little bit later today, but I also have some video planning that I want to do because tomorrow I have a hair appointment, so I want to film and stuff. So I want to have like videos planned in preparation for that. But I don't really know. I'm kind of a little bit stressed out this morning, but I'm going to make myself breakfast and then look at what I have to do today and go from there. Ta da! So I'm just having a couple of eggs and some turkey bacon, hash browns, and toast. Usually I'd have have some fruit with this but I was kind of feeling lazy and yeah this is this is just what it is so I'm gonna have my breakfast and listen to more of my audio hello we have a cat here oh she's so happy to be here she looks so mad she's really not though you love it yes hello she always has to come and visit me when I'm in the office but it is Wednesday night I feel like it's later in the week. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's only Wednesday. Anyways, reading update for you guys because I have not done that. I have been so sporadic and I really apologize. I got my hair done today, by the way, so I just filmed a video, which is why I have makeup on. And tomorrow's gonna be a filming day, so we're getting into some filming time for me. But I DNF'd Odd and True by Cat Winters. I got to page 211 and I still didn't really understand what was going on. I still didn't get, like, if we we were talking in hypotheticals or if these monsters really exist and it was like building up to things I think but I honestly just didn't really care enough to continue. I really enjoyed the disability rep because True had polio when she was a child so she doesn't have use of her right leg I believe or she has minimal use of it. She has a brace for it and she is sometimes in a wheelchair and I thought that disability rep was really well done. This one just didn't suck me in like her other book did. I will still read the other two that I have of hers. I'm going to give them a chance, but I just think that this one kind of missed it for me. And like, I'm confused because I went to go and look at Goodreads reviews for it when I was thinking of DNFing it because I was like, maybe it gets better. Maybe it's just me, whatever. And it does seem that it's just me because all I saw was like four and five star reviews, but it just like... I was like, maybe it gets better, but I just don't really care. So I'm really sad that I ended up DNFing it, but it is what it is. So when I went to the gym today, my headphones were dead, so I didn't really get to listen to more of Cemetery Boys, unfortunately. I'm on chapter 20 or something like that. I'm definitely nearing the end. It's like 
it's getting real emotional now, but I'm really liking it. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it before the end of this week, but I honestly don't really know. For a physical read, however, I have started something new. I have books all over the place because I filmed a video, but I started Dreamland Burning by Jennifer Latham. I have had this on my TBR for a very long time and I finally started it this morning. So I'm on page 70, so I have read a fair amount of it and I have mixed feelings so far. The one character perspective made a really bad call that I'm very very angry with so I'm interested to see what's going to happen with that because it's dual perspective actually just like odd and true but it's dual perspective where one is in the past and then one is in the present day and the present day one is where they have found a skeleton on the family's property and the other perspective is a hundred years earlier when that murder took place and it's a murder mystery sort of thing so I'm just getting into the bulk of the story to see how that setup is going to work but very intrigued by it and the writing is very readable so far. So I could film another video but I don't really want to so I'm just going to go and read some of this before bed. I'm going to clean up in here a little bit like as you can see my chair is all over the place. You can see the skinny doorway that's why in my videos I always say that like if I forget a book downstairs I can't go to get it. It's because the doorway is so skinny that it just it takes up the whole doorway so yeah I'm going to try and clean up a little bit so then tomorrow I can jump right into filming. I do like I want to film it's just it takes so much out of me whenever I'm filming and I'm just feeling really lazy and tired right now because this past week like I thought the week before this week was kind of low-key but it was also kind of busy but this week has just been go 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 like I've been doing errands and stuff so it's been a lot but yeah we're figuring it out we're getting there life's fine <laughs> good morning so it is thursday today today is going to be a very busy day but i'm trying to caffeinate and then i'm going to make myself breakfast it's about 10 a.m now so i'm hoping by like 11 or 12 i'll be able to start film yay <laughs> so i'm hoping to film today but i also have some other just stuff i have to do right now i'm just planning my menu here i've got my whole setup with my cookbooks and everything i've got a little candle going and yeah i'm just kind of planning stuff out i spent a lot of time last night also planning out my week and everything and all the stuff that i have to do and i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed right now just because it's a busy time like these next couple of weeks and then i'll be okay for the next little bit until november then i'll be really busy again but honestly i'll just be glad when i'm pretty much done filming like after this week i'll pretty much be done filming for october and november which is good but it's still like right now it's trying to find the time to film trying to find the time to edit and do all of that stuff and that's the difficult part but i'm sorting it out and everything i don't know when i'm going to get reading time honestly today hopefully a little bit later but we'll see i truly don't know i'm hoping i can get some in because i wanted to read a little bit more of this before bed but i ended up falling asleep so i didn't get the chance to and i really want to get some reading in but if i can't in the next couple of days i know that over the weekend i will be able to do some reading so we'll see so i'm actually done with filming for the day i filmed four videos which i haven't done in a while usually i've just been able to squeeze in three but I'm happy that I was able to do four. I did one that I wasn't expecting to, didn't plan for, and it was kind of chaotic, but like, it's whatever. That was Charlie yawning. That was like aggressively dramatic, sir. Are you tired? You're exhausted. Ew, stinky breath. Gross, gross. You're so cute. Okay, this is Charlie's vlog now. <laughs> Thank you for licking the lens. <laughs> It was so helpful but now i'm planning on just cleaning up and then i'm probably going to get started on dinner i'm hoping it won't really take too long because not only do i have to make tonight's dinner sir oh my god your breath smells horrible but not only do i have to make tonight's dinner but i also have to start on tomorrow's dinner because it has to marinate 
because we're having chicken tikka masala and I need to have that marinating so I've got a lot to do it's gonna be a really busy day I like how I'm saying that but like the day's almost done like I did better with filming than I was expecting I'm glad that I got it done tomorrow I have to film and then I should be okay for a little bit with not filming but yeah I am sleepy and losing steam but oh well hello so it's actually monday morning and i am here in my little french bulldog pajamas that say le wolf on it but i wanted to close out this two week long reading vlog so i'm sorry it was very sporadic that just kind of has been how vlogging has been going for me lately i debated on scrapping it but i thought you guys might still want to see it so that's why i put it up um i did finish four books over the course of this vlog i finished dreamland burning since i spoke to you guys last and really enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars. It was super good, very hard to read. Like it's really heartbreaking and emotional, but I think it's necessary. Like it educated me on the riots that are taking place in this, which I think is an important piece of American history that I should be aware of. But like it for sure was a very difficult read. I enjoyed the dual perspective. I thought that was really well utilized and I liked how something would pop up in the perspective from a hundred years ago and then there would be something in the present day period that would like relate to that so it was kind of like a guessing game and it really was like an archaeological dig like putting together the pieces and everything but you also like know characters from back then so I don't know it was a very interesting experience I kind of need to formulate my thoughts on it because it was such an experience reading it but yeah four out of five stars I still have not finished Cemetery Boys I have not gotten any further with it I just have not had the time to listen to an audiobook unfortunately and I have moved on to Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. So I'm going to start a vlog for next week. Not sure if I'll finish it, but I'm going to try to. So I, I will be reading these two books for sure in that vlog. Actually, I finished five books. I apparently can't count, but it's been like so long since I started this vlog that I forgot. I mean, one of them was a DNF, but anyways. So I finished Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett, which I gave a four out of five stars. Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron, which I gave a four out of five stars as well. When We Are Magic by Sarah Gailey, which I gave a three out of five stars. And Odd and True by Cat Winters, which I didn't give a rating because I DNF. And then of course, Dreamland Burning, which I was just talking about, which I gave a four out of five stars as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm still not really sure what the fate of vlogs is going to be, but I might stick to the two week long vlogs. I'm not sure. I mean, it makes it a little bit easier for days where I'm not vlogging. I know there are times where I go like a really long, long period without vlogging and I'll do like two updates in a day and I hope that's okay. It's just kind of the way my life has been working with how things have been going and how my time is and how I've been busy. So if you like the two week long vlogs let me know really not sure need to think about it but we shall see i hope you enjoyed watching this nonetheless and i will see you in my next video soon bye <laughs>